Okay, so we're ready to test this out on the client side. We set up our server, so now let's test our client. So um, notice I'm at the root directory, okay, but look who I am. I'm C Germany. So I don't have write permission on this directory. So here's something interesting. When you're testing it, remember that even if you have enabled read access you know, on groups and users in anonymous FTP or in a home folder, um, if you start the client in a folder that you don't have write permission in, then you'll be denied access. So for example, even though I would normally be granted permission to download these files um, in the anonymous FTP directory, if I FTP, if I'm in root, I'm still going to be denied because although I have permission to download, I don't have permission to save anything in the root folder. I'm not root, I'm C Germany. I'd have to go to my home folder to do that. Just to illustrate it, here's our banner message. Welcome to FTP server on Pegasus. Have a super nice day. I'm gonna do an anonymous, unauthenticated login with no password. Got in and I'm gonna list the directory contents. And by the way, just to show you, these are the, the client side commands you can use with the FTP service. But I'm going to bring this listing up and notice that I, I have you know permission on this file. Um, even if I weren't, you know, the, the world owns it and the world's the group. You know, everybody in the universe. <laughs> and but even if I didn't, other has read, and the group has read, and the user has read write. So I should, by all means, you know, uh, be able to grab or be able to download that file. However, if I try to get one, permission denied. I'm not denied permission because I don't have permission to download it. I'm denied permission because I didn't have permission to save it in the root folder. So I'm going to quit and log out of the FTP client. And if I print the working directory, here I am. So what I want to do is I want to go somewhere where I do have write access so I can complete my download. And by default, that's my home folder. Notice how the prompt changed from the forward slash of root to the tilde, which is my home folder. If I print the working directory, notice where I am. Home, C Germany. Here I do have write access, so I'm going to restart the FTP client from within this folder. Okay, and there's my banner message, and I'm going to do an anonymous login, no password, list the directory contents, and I'm going to try to get one. Okay, and in this case I was successful. And let's, I'm going to use another command called mget to get multiple files and I'm just going to use a wildcard and just to kind of show you how the permission works until we get down to 7, 8, and 9 um, we should have permission to download all of these but then when we get down to 7, 8, and 9 we should be denied permission if we set up our permissions properly so mget and I'm going to say yes got it, yes, got it, yes, got it, yes, got it, yes, got it um, yes, got it so 1 through 6, no problem. Transfer was complete and the port command was successful. Now let's try 7. Failed to open file. 8. Failed to open file. 9. Failed to open file. Alright, so that's exactly what I wanted by design. Let me exit out. And if I were to go to my home folder, again, here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. There, there are my you know, the empty files I created with the touch command. Okay, so that's anonymous FTP login. Now, what about FTP login that's authenticated? Um, we've enabled that as well, so let's test that out from the client side. So, FTP Pegasus, welcome to the FTP server on Pegasus. Have a super nice day. This time, um, I'm going to use an authenticated user, C Germany, and I need to specify my password. And then now, if I list the directory contents, notice that I'm actually in my home folder. So there's desktop documents, downloads, emulators, Linux notes, and so forth. All of that available via FTP will look. If I come over here, here's my home folder. Desktop documents, downloads, Linux notes, music. All right, so same thing. And this way, this would give me access to download and upload files in my home folder via an authenticated account or user login.